one, film. Hello, I'm Diggory Haydock and we're looking at some vintage shotguns today. We're going to start with a hammer gun with non-rebounding locks. This one is made by W. Thorne of the Strand in about 1874 and it features the Jones 1859 patent underlever with screw grip. This is an inert action, it's a very strong action and today we're going to look at the merits of these sorts of things particularly when it came to being employed by driven shooting and it helps us to understand the drive in the gun making industry at the time to improve the firing cycle of the sorts of guns that sportsmen were buying. This one looks very neat and compact, it's a very high quality gun. The opening mechanism requires that you pull back the hammers to half cock before you load the gun. You then move the Jones under lever, which is inert, forward, enabling you to open the breech. When you close the gun, you have to manually lock it and then in order to make it ready for firing, pull back to full cock. Once you've fired the gun, again, you're required to pull back to half cock, open, extract your cartridges and start again. Now we're going to try this in a time of one minute shooting at standard driven targets to see how many aimed shots it's possible to get in an unhurried manner with a gun like this on a typical driven pheasant shoot. I'll be loading from a cartridge bag and firing at uh, targets that have been taken on report. I'll start with a loaded gun at full cock and let's see how this performs. How many shots in a minute can we manage? Oh! Oh! 